course, you expect the association to try and water it down. But you have water videos. They are in circulation. Uh, you, you don't see a video of such animated um, conduct at the team's hotel and say nothing happened. Uh, the facts of the issue were that there were two or three guys who came to the team hotel after the game against the bed, laid ambush at the team's lobby, waited for the team to arrive, and the instance where the team bus arrived, they stood up. So when the coach and the other players entered the lobby, they confronted the coach, and it was a near physical confrontation. Uh, but the, for intervention of two diplomats and some government officials who were there, one presidential staffer from Jubilee House, he would have been hit by the guy because it was a very serious confrontation. So it, it was an assault. The team, uh, the national security official around the team, or the detail of the security around the team, ordered for the arrest of the guy. How do you arrest somebody who is just having a conversation with a coach? So he was arrested. He was handcuffed. I have videos and pictures of that. He was handcuffed by two Ivorian police. He was sent out after being seized. And it took the further intervention of some officials of the Ghana FA to speak to the Ivorian police. And there was also one uh, consular at the Ghanaian embassy here in Abidjan who spoke with them and told them that they would deal with the matter amicably. So the person should be allowed to have his way. So he was arrested. There was an assault. He was arrested. There are videos of the confrontation. And I am putting this out because I don't think it's, it's appropriate that even if you don't want a coach, you have to send people to go and attack him. Any assault is an assault. Call it physical or whatever. An assault is an attempt to physically attack someone. So I don't know why that would be watered down. But I understand the GFA, they are in a complete uh, state of um, confusion. You lose your first game and these matters will come up. So as an official position, you want to try and calm matters down. But if you are a journalist, that's not your job. I'm not here to, to paint uh, different colors. And I'm not here. If this had escalated into something uh, serious, he's an Irish. You don't touch somebody. And this is a trend way back in Ghana. Clubs are sending people to go and attack a coach they have appointed. When you said sending people, it's well raises. I have, a lot. I have, I have further information, and this has been corroborated by people at the Ghibli House. It's on mm -hmm. tape that there they are investigation and intelligence. These two people who entered the hotel are doing that under a scheme of plot that is orchestrated by some bigger hands uh, in football. You understand? So. Two guys, two ordinary supporters of the national team cannot enter a hotel with high security like that. Two ordinary supporters of Ghana, even a journalist, cannot enter the Black Stars Hotel and have the, 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 the capacity and, and vigor to attack the national team coach. Obviously, they might have had some backing and I don't support it. Even if I don't like the performance or I don't appreciate the performance of Coach Chris Hilton, this is not the right way to go to the team hotel, try and physical, try and assault the coach. It doesn't agar well. And if people don't want the coach, we are a nation that is well respected. We are a democratic nation. The coach was appointed professionally. He should be spoken to. There are terms of the contract. That is what we have to do if we want to get rid of Coach Sitin. I don't support any form of provocation and attack or confrontation in a matter like this. If people are going to be attacked for how they do their work in Ghana in public services and be, to be attacked physically. I'm not sure anybody will, will survive in that state. So I think um, I put out that story because it is a fact. It is a truth. I have further videos and proofs of what 